Welcome to PS Pharmaceuticals. Everyone is excited about their new injectable drug, the cure, that's in the tech transfer phase. It has taken years to develop, and the target population of patients is large. Frankly, they probably won't be able to make it fast enough. Now, meet Joe, the production engineer on this project. The cure is lyophilized for long-term stability. And during engineering runs, things have gone smoothly, but there have been some challenges. Vials are freezing at different rates and temperatures, and moisture content is varied. Some vials are showing evidence of collapse. As a result, product homogeneity and yield have been inconsistent. That doesn't make the QA inspector happy, or anyone else for that matter. As a precaution, and to improve yield, primary drying time has been extended from six to seven and a half days. Here's another challenge. Joe opens the freeze dryer after seven and a half days only to find broken vials, sometimes as many as 20%. That's when Joe's head starts to spin. Are vials contaminated? How much time will I lose? Deviations? Bottom line, problems like this slow down production, cost money, and result in meetings. They did have a meeting and everyone is focused on continuous improvement. Everyone, including Joe, is also thinking how much better life will be when production is running smoothly. Joe starts thinking about the development data from when they were running the cure in a Lyostar. Knowing the parameters could be easily scaled up, he says, we need to use control IO technology. Half the room says, what's that? Scientist Bill quickly steps up to give an explanation. Control IO technology uses an inert gas to pressurize the freeze drying chamber. This results in complete freezing of all vials at the same time and reduced supercooling. Vials actually freeze at a higher temperature and yield larger, more consistent crystal sizes. These larger crystals allow faster sublimation due to less product resistance. Basically, having this control can mean shorter run times, reduced breakage, and improved batch homogeneity, which translates into increased profitability and happier customers. And it's all done while maintaining a sterile boundary. No foreign particles enter the chamber, so there's no risk of contamination. Joe, your suggestion makes perfect sense. But Kathy, the business manager, wants to quantify it. We run 10,000 vials per batch with a value of $28 per vial, or $280,000 per run. Each cycle takes seven and a half days, and accounting for downtime, we can run 38 batches per year. Every time we lose 20% to reject, we lose $56,000. If we can reduce product variability and rejects to 5%, and data Joe shows does support it, we'll gain $42,000 per batch. The data also shows that with Control IO technology, they can reduce the cycle time to five and a half days. That will allow 14 more batches per year, a 37% increase in production. It's going to be hard to top that idea. Realizing the upfront value, PS Pharma is now discussing the use of Control IO technology for other products moving through their pipeline. We encourage you to look at some of your own numbers and projects to see what you might gain with Control IO technology. Batch homogeneity, reduced vial breakage, shorter run times. It's your time, your investment, your results.